Thanks a lot for supporting us, the Bills and all the above, man. Nick, he's the man. He's the man, <laughs> This is Pat Matthews, Nick. This is the guy who's hooking us up with indoor seating. All for you, buddy. And he's got some special That's gifts here. Gifts. Wow. Little, little Steve, uh, Stevie J football. Holy wow. cow. He's going to awesome. look at that. In your bags for everybody. I'm getting ready to cry. This is really, I'm telling you. No, I mean, definitely. We appreciate it. We no, definitely appreciate, appreciate the support and everything. Great. Nick, how you doing? I'm Matt Patron, uh, manager of premium services with the Buffalo Bills. So we're glad we could get you guys to come out here to a nice cold weather game here in Buffalo. Hope you guys have a great time. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a great day for you guys. Hopefully we get a win for you too. So. And Nicky, don't worry. I'm going to turn it over. I'll sign the other side. <laughs> <laughs> and if Nick doesn't want it, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> The majestic sounds of Niagara Falls. What a hell of a leak. We need a good plumber for this one. Who's this? What's your name? In America. Really? You look confused. Are you dazed? I don't believe a word of it. Hey, Nick, how you doing, buddy? Good. I'm happy. <laughs> hey, Patty, how's it feel? This is the tailgate. Hey, Chuck, is this better than Yankee Stadium? Hey, I don't take these today. Check them out. It's okay. Yeah. This is a great spread, though. Look at it. We got eight chicken wings. Oh, we got a chicken wings. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go for it, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Are you going to have wings? Have you ever seen a bigger spread? Hey, bro, I love you so much. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but you used to get bloody noses all the time. And you scared the hell out of me. You remember that? Yes. And I was, you know, as a kid, I used to watch you. Mom, you know, you're six years younger than me. And I used to watch you, and I used to worry about getting in trouble because you always had bloody nose. What the hell was that? What's with the bloody noses? Thank God you're not getting bloody noses anymore. Keep the faith. Love you, your brother. Nick, all right. One of the things that fondest memories of Nick is getting up on Sunday morning when I lived in his parents' cottage in the back. And at the, uh, Nick had his Explorer, his Explorer Black, the gold trim, Eddie Bauer edition. And I had the uh, Cherokee Limited. Every Sunday morning, two of us sit out there and just like wash our cars with toothbrushes, you know, clean them up in your parents' driveway. And Nick was saying, my father's gonna charge you for the water. <laughs> we were out there every Sunday morning. We were out to detail on our cars, man, it was great. That was my frankest stereo. Nick had the greatest stereo in his, his he did. Explorer. And the, and yeah, the thing was freaking loud. No, it was a Ford F-150, wasn't like it? Michael Jackson. Nice. He, he would have that. We'd just sit there and wash the cars in the driveway on a Sunday morning. Relax after a night out with Gary Abraham and the boys. <laughs> hey Nick, um, this is Mel. Love you. Um, one of the coolest things and one of the best things we did year after year, summer after summer, was always me getting picked up in your Ford F-150, you cranking up the music, and us just driving into Huntington, going to Sunshines, Dock Sand, Artful Dodger. But it was, felt so cool. One of the first times. I ever got to sit up high on a truck and uh, it was always in your truck it was the cleanest truck on Long Island you never did a damn thing with the truck but you drove around and looked like you were busy and like you're a big business man but it was, a, it, it was great it was black it was sleek and it 
had a great stereo system, and I loved it. I always felt like uh, I was felt like a magic man there, sitting up in that sucker. Do, 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 and of do, course, do, do. then we would you know work our magic on the ladies, and uh, hey, the rest <laughs> is history. We're down in Florida, coming home after a night of drinking. We all got the munchies, so we stop at a Circle K or a 7-Eleven or something. We get a boatload of chips. We're all half loaded. Nikki's driving. We're eating chips. Nikki's driving, and this over his shoulder says, "Guys, don't get one chip. Don't get one effing chip in this freaking car." And at that point, we, had, we were up to here with Nikki yelling at us for keeping things clean and neat. So somebody wasn't me, but somebody reached into one of the bags, took a handful of chips, crunched them up, and threw them in Nikki's face as he's driving. And you can see his veins popping out, and his <laughs> eyes are bulging out, and his blood is bulging out. He's going like this. And then we all just, we all, every one of us, put our hands into bags, and we're throwing chips all over the freaking car. And Nikki finally, the old story, you can't feed him, might as well join him. Nikki reaches into one of the bags and starts throwing chips around himself. <laughs> we trashed that car. It was his grandmother's car, I think. And it was spotless when we got into it, inside and out. But when we got out, it, we were trashed it with potato chips. It probably took Nikki a week to clean that thing up. And he probably had conniptions thinking about how the chips I'm in the car. The chips in the car, the chips in the, the chips in the seats, the chips in there, the chips everywhere. Tony Macro, Nick, you and I have been friends for 40 years. I can't believe it. Where does the time go? Anyway, one of the biggest things that comes to mind, the biggest adventures that me and you did together, was uh, spearfishing for striped bass on the northern jetty of Barnegat Inlet. You and me jumping 10, 20 feet down underwater with spear guns and uh, chasing stripers. That was one of the most adventurous things that I've ever done in my whole life, and I'll never forget it. There's a hundred more stories that I'll never forget that included you, and what I want to say to you right now is thank you. Thank you for one of the best friendships in the whole world. I love you like the Dickens. What do you guys think? Go Buffalo Bills! Go Bills, baby! Best time with my best buddies. That's a great shot. I might not like it's coming up right now. How much is long ago? I love every one of them. So, I love Pat. He looks like my son. My son looks like him. I love my brother. I don't love my man. And Terry, you did a great job. He did. Big hand around the floor. Wait, wait, do you love him? We love you, Nick.